Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, you guys. Oh my goodness, it got pretty bizarre last time. There is a lot going on at once, guys. It definitely feels like everything's starting to come to a head, does it not? Like, it feels like we're building to big stuff and big stuff is like already happening and it's going to be a big, huge mess. Um... I will briefly get into my thoughts on the last episode. I think there were a couple things I didn't get to address because I was just so like, what the, <laughs> in the end of the last episode. Um, so I'll just kind of briefly tell you my inner thoughts on that before we move on to this next episode, part two. Um, before I do that, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so very much. And as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still, thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you're joining me on those YouTubes, I do hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. It helps me and the channel an awful lot. So thank you in advance for that. Um, all right, guys. So current state of things, Koichi, Josuke's mom, <clears throat> nowhere to be found, kidnapped, hopefully nothing worse. I don't think it would be. I, I would be really shocked if they just like legit killed them off screen. And we're like, yeah, guys, sorry. Like, I cannot, especially not like with the tone of this arc. You know, I can't see that. Um, but they're, they're, they're gone. Um, who knows what's going on with them. Rohan's being approached by someone. Rohan just found a massive clue. And God, if only he could get out his door without finding this, without having to encounter this person, he might actually be able to do something about it. But now he's probably going to have stuff to worry about, too. Um, of course, Josuke, Okuyasu, Mikitaka are all caught up in this pylon thing craziness um i know there's a way out of it i know there will be some cool like sleight of hand strategy thing you just you do you know it's coming i'm just like i just can't think of what it is and there's a little part of me that's like i really hope that mikitaka just uh, i don't know like i on a show like this guys from episode nine of this show on i have been in just a state of healthy kind of fear of like okay I respect that you can do whatever you want whenever you want. I'm not going to assume anything. Because you remember how I was when Jonathan died. You remember. I was so smug. I've never been smug again on this show. Never been smug again. And I never will be. So, like, there's always a little part of me that's like, oh, my God. Um, I, I did want to say something about the stands. Because this is like, we don't often see stands like this, but it is interesting to see like an independent stand. Like we saw the sword back in part, part three. I think there's been a couple of times. Um, <clears throat> there was a, I can't remember. I feel like maybe there was one besides the sword, but I can't remember right now. Um, but kind of like a, a situation where like the stand is kind of the stand and the user all at the same time. So we don't even have the option of taking out the user in this case because that's not going to help anything. It's just going to kind of keep on going. If we could get everyone out of there, I'd say just zap the thing with the hand. But we got to get everyone out of there first and no one can leave unless so, so like perpetually someone has to be trapped. And then anything that you do comes back at you. So... I don't know how they're, I don't know how they're going to work this one out, but I know they will. But I just think that's interesting too, because like, I don't know, I think the, the stands have been really clever in this one and the way they've been using them. And um, <clears throat> I just thought it was worth pointing out. Um, I, I'm still not sure like why they would hold the mom hostage. I, I mean, it would literally just be to get to Josuke. And Josuke's already like wrapped up in this. I don't know what the meaning of that is. Um, but I did, I did think of it, though. I did think of it in between filming in the, like, five minutes I took between videos today. That, like, what if it's, because everyone else is, like, tied up, what if it's Jotaro and Joseph that have to go save her, and that's how she sees Joseph, like, literally saving her, like, Prince Charming, and, I mean, 
Am I saying, oh, have we all had the fantasy of Joseph showing up and saving us in a Prince Charming way? Maybe, yes, I don't know, shut up. But I just really don't, I really don't want the ensuing drama because I really want him back with Susie when this is all over. Anyway, so I did think of that. I'm like, oh my God, what a way for him to be like, oh, hey, I'm in town. <laughs> oh, guys, I really hope nobody dies. I feel this, this is, we're getting towards, we're getting, we're getting towards the end game here. We're like, if they're going to take somebody out, it's going to be now. And really, like, I just, I, there's no, okay, so I'll just put this out here right now. There's no reason for anyone to be safe in this. Like, literally, the only person I can think of who maybe is the safest would be Jotaro, only because I think he's going to have to be, as, he's the most likely to have the next Jojo. But if my theory about the, him already having kids is true, then we're in a Jonathan situation where, like, literally nobody has to make it out of this. You know what I mean? Because I don't think they're, I don't think it's going to be, although they should, they should, I mean, they should anyway not kill Josuke. <laughs> but I think that we're probably going to have to have one of his kids for one of the parts, too. So, I mean, that's kind of what I would think, but I don't know. Um, but, like, technically speaking... There is not one person who is guaranteed safe in this. You know, like at the end of part two, I'm like, okay, he's got to make it out of this. And at the end of part three, I'm like, okay, if I, if my money was on Jojo then too, I think. I don't know. Well, where was I at at the end of part? I didn't know. That's when I came up with the theory about Dio and Jonathan having a baby. That didn't come out right. But you know what I mean? So I don't know. Like, if that was true, then none of them had to... Technically, you know it's awful? Because Josuke was already around. Like, Josuke had already been born. Technically, at the end of Part 3, everyone could have been wiped out. And there still could have been another JoJo. I'm so grateful that's not what happened. I am so grateful that's not what happened. But, like, think about it, though. Would that have not been a giant bomb to drop on us? To, like, take everyone out and be like, just... And then with that, with, oh, if they had all died, too, he, we wouldn't even have been able to get to see him again. It would have been like, guess what? <laughs> Just had this kid that nobody knew about. Oh, that would have been awful. I'm glad that didn't happen. Um, all right, guys, I'm ranting. I need to see what's going to happen next. So without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and we jump right in to the next episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Let's do this. Don't let him in. Uh, yeah, it's not, though. It's not. It's not. Oh, God. Good idea. Oh, my God. Rohan's like 20 steps ahead. That was a really good idea. Don't get anyone looking at my bag. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. That's not a. Uh, I mean, you know, we all have our quirks. That okay? Rohan's just playing chess over here while everyone else is playing checkers. Smart. Oh, he can't step out from behind them because nobody can look at his back. He doesn't want to step out from behind them. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, so it's not just that nobody can see the back. It's okay. It's a li it's a little bit more than okay. All right. Huh? What? Are you kidding? That was a mask? No! No, 
it. No, that's not. No. You're our friend. Oh. He's so good. Oh. Oh my god, he fixed the wi- He fixed the wire. That is so flippin' smart. He really, to be fair, didn't seem like he wanted to kill anyone. He le he legitimately doesn't want to like mortally wound anyone. Oh. <gasps> what are you? No, no. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Stop! <laughs> oh dear God. Oh crap. He can fix it though, can he? Right, because it's so fast. Oh my lord. Oh crap. He he's he's mastered it. Oh dear god. Ow! Oh god! He wasn't gonna leave him there! Come on! He's got, he's got something up his sleeve. <laughs> he doesn't even care. Oh, are they going to come back? Oh, he was purposely to figure out how many. Which means... Oh, it's all gonna come- Oh! <laughs> that is so smart. That is so smart. <laughs> he was like five steps ahead. Yeah, pretty much. Oh my god, that's- I didn't even think of that. That you could actually fix the energy that- Oh man. Oh. He- I- I legit get the feeling he doesn't want to kill anyone. Oh, he's, he's good. He's good living in there now. He's, oh, guy who lives in a <laughs> Oh, wow, he's a landmark now. Oh, they're gonna know something happened to Koichi now. No, no way. No, 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 no. Oh. 
Oh, he was going to go on the offensive. Uh, I'm really hoping there's nothing more to this. Oh, don't call attention to your neck, whatever you do. And, or your hands, so no. He's, he's losing it, though. He's losing it. Oh, they're growing awful fast, you guys. They're just really growing. Oh crap, when Yukako finds out, she is going to flip her lid. Oh! Oh, hey! Smart! Okay. It's, it's, it's trade. I mean, do you want to be fixed or not, though? Yeah. It was worth a shot. <laughs> he just thought he'd bargain a little bit. <laughs> he wanted to haggle. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jeez. What happened to his, uh, his crew? Uh, okay. Oh, done. And there we go. <laughs> He's just checking out the goods. <laughs> Uh, don't don't push it don't push it don't push it but are you like a hunting dog okay oh wow oh oh it adds okay all right That's just so specific. I just. I mean, he's he's pretty good at what he does. I mean, he's he is pretty good at the whole smelling thing. Oh dear, that is a very terrifying way to climb stairs. I guess it was a little bit more than a very minor quirk but you're just it's oh and the curiosity though is gonna get the better of him <laughs> why do i kind of want to scratch his back right now <laughs> okay I'm really glad this guy's on our side now. Uh, oh. And there's the one. Okay. Uh oh. That's why he was asking, do I have to fight? Oh, be careful. Don't just run after. Oh, God. Be careful, honey. What? Okay, good, good. What on earth? Like, everyone's heard about Jotaro now. Awesome. Oh, now he's really, really, really angry. 
he's still, he's somewhere nearby. Oh crap, how did he do that? How did he switch out the mob so fast? Is that why he took her? Okay. Because he wanted to get... Okay, I knew there had to be a reason. Serious? Oh! So this is what happened. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh. oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. He's been watching them? Really? How long has he been watching? Oh, this is really, this is, this is, this is, this is weird. Oh, and there's the second one that wasn't in there. No, don't, don't do, don't do the rare, 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 rare thing, don't. Oh, Enigma is what it's called. I don't know why they changed it to Mysterio, so. Oh, crap. And then it can. Oh! What did it just do? Did it just bite her? Oh, it trapped. Oh, it. It trapped her? In paper. They're trapped in paper! And once you have like their towel. Oh. He doesn't want to be involved. He's probably he's in danger anyway just by being right here. Oh, uh, the pa the piece of paper. Is he hiding in the piece of paper? Oh, that's... No! 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 You can't have me there! No! No. Guys, that legitimately cannot be the end of the episode. Oh, dear God, guys. I, I only have to wait like 48 hours and I'm already dying. I'm already absolutely dying. Oh! Uh! That was so good. That was so tense, you guys. Um, okay. Well, I have my answer to why would he take the mom? I just thought they were trying to, like, hold the... Which, I guess, in a way, was not totally off. Because, like, he was holding the mom hostage. But there was a reason for it. Koichi, on the other hand, if the dad said he's already been eliminated... Because if the point is to go around and eliminate the sand users and he took the mom so he could get Josuke scared and take Josuke out, then did he already take Koichi out? Is that going to be Koichi's body in that paper? Guys, I'm not standing for it. I'm not standing for it. And if he's dead, he's dead. Josuke can't bring him back. But the guy had the scent. But I thought it was the scent of the. Okay. If it's the scent of the bad guy, then maybe that is him in the paper. But if it was Koichi's scent, then that could be Koichi in the paper. I don't know. It's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> So that's how he was able to switch with, although I think maybe it's the gu it's the guy in the paper, because that would explain how he switched out with the mom so fast and nobody saw him running, running away. You know what I mean? 
because he brought the mom out, made himself into the paper, and went inside her pocket. Okay, it's, pro it's probably, it's probably the guy. It's probably the guy, and hopefully Koichi's just, he did say he was, well, he said he, he was observing, but I think, did he mean in, like, past tense, Koichi and the mom? He might have taken Koichi out, you guys. He still might have taken Koichi out. I don't, guys, I, I know, I know it is tradition to, like, we already took out Shigechi. You know what I mean? Do we really have to go around taking out Jojo Bros left and right? Do we really? Do we really? And I don't even know what's going on with Rohan's guy. Like, I thought it was a sand user. According to Heaven's Door, it's not. But Heaven's Door didn't know it, the Jenkin boy either. So, if the... I, I don't know if this is correct, but if the person doesn't, like, really... If they're not really aware... Like, if it just happened, he's maybe not aware... He might still be a sand user. But now Rohan's just... Okay, so now I feel like he might be legit making trouble for himself because he's just so curious now that he's got to see this guy's back that he's probably going to make trouble where there wasn't any and like even if the guy is a stand user what if he just happened to show up as an architect for like his regular job <laughs> and he wasn't going to do anything and then Rohan goes poking the bear <laughs> how much do you want to bet maybe there's like a stand that has to do with his back because there's no way they were just taking time from this story to show us, like, a story about Rohan and his architect. You know what I mean? Like, really, when you think about it, there's no way. Is there? I don't think there's any way. Um, Alright. Also, going back to earlier in the episode, resolving everything with the electrical tower person. Um, I do like that he's not actually, like, and you could tell even when he was, like, telling Mikitaka, like, hey, you know, there's, like, stuff on the ground here for you. You'll be able to help yourself after a little time. Like, he really, I think, legit did not want to hurt anybody. So, it's cool that, like, all these stand users that, I don't know about this, the fear guy seems mad creepy, you guys. I don't think he's going to end up being a friend. But, um... A lot of them that have been made so far, even by the dad, have, like, ended up on our side and not, <laughs> like, literally the only one that's helping Kira right now is the cat. And the cat can't really do anything because he's in the attic. He literally is just guarding the attic, I guess. So the dad is just striking out here. Um, but then that's probably why he starts saying, like, okay, just, just take them out. Like, don't worry about protecting Kira, just go, just start taking people out. Which honestly, like, kind of makes more sense in the first place because if you really want to protect your son, take out anyone who can get to your son. So, I mean, logistically, I guess it adds up. Um, yeah. Oh, the, the fear guy, the enig enigma... I don't, I don't like the cut of his jib. I don't like it at all. It's very creepy. I mean, I guess you could argue for some of the other sand users, like, the power was just too much for them, and it kind of, like, drove out of control something that they already had going on, but maybe they weren't necessarily bad. This guy legit seems like he likes to watch people squirm. You know what I mean? I, I don't care for him. Don't care for him at all. Oh, the poor mom. Good lord. I really hope she... Is there a way we can, like, get her to not remember this? Because I don't want her to have to live with the experience of somebody, like, coming in her house and abducting her. I don't know. Can Heaven Store... <laughs> I don't know if I want to see Heaven Store used on her either. And I don't know if, uh, if Rohan would do anything to help Josuke at this point. But, um... All right. Wow, guys. Wow. That was quite a place to leave me. Thank God I only have 48 hours. I just have 48 hours so I can find out what happened. I can do this. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be all right. Now watch like next week. I'll just be like, hey guys, still so, like, <laughs> so I watched through like the next 40 episodes. I couldn't help myself. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Like at the most, I would just do the rest of the season or the rest of the part. I'm sorry. They're not called. Well, yeah, this actually is a season though. It's part four, but it's, also season three which is so confusing um all right guys huh 
That was a good one. That was a really, I'll, like, they both been just, like, so, like, nail-biting. No pun intended with the nails growing and everything. I don't want to think about anything with nails or hands right now. It's really, it's just, it's too soon. But they've all been, they've all been pretty intense. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. I loved it. I loved every minute of my squirming fear. It's, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why. I just love the feeling of suspense and horror so much. But it's one of the reasons that I love this show. And just the excellent writing. Um, and the characters who I love. Like, they're my own family. And they're in my heart forever. So, yeah. All of the above. Um, all right, you guys. Please don't leave me now. I will again state that it is cruel for you to leave me at this part. So please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.